Hey there, today in this video, I'm going to give you a quick preview of the new business WordPress theme, Harrington Buying Themes.com. And then we'll go through the theme installation process and take a look at the theme option panel of Harrington Theme and we will see how we can make small, small changes on our website with this theme. So let's get started. You can see this is our Harrington Theme. And talking about the preview over here, you can see this is the place where you can upload the logo for your business website and then here is the navigation menu which is completely responsive and this is a mobile navigation menu you can see it works absolutely fine on any device you use it ah there's a girl and a boy behind <laughs> ignore then moving down you will find the slider here which is one of the main focal point we have brought in our theme and you can see the images have got this ken burns effect the images are moving here and there and uh, these are the still images so you can uh, put up your business images over here in the slider and showcase them also you can provide with some title or heading in this place then moving down you will find this is the home page main feature heading where you can provide with some business tagline all right and there is also a subheading so you can put up some uh, description a short description about your business and services then more coming down you will find this is the three column feature area we have got in with this three column feature area heading and uh, you can see it is completely different with the circle over here with the images embedded on it and also you will find the small icon on clicking which you will be navigated to a page where you will find more details about this feature so you can put up the image over here uh, you can provide a title and also a short description so that is the three column feature area we have got in then moving down you will find the bottom feature area wherein you can showcase your blog post this is the heading you can provide for your bottom feature area and these are the blog posts that we have got in and notice here in the images you will find this uh, you can see the date is there the number of comments is there also when you hover over this images you will find this arrow on clicking which you will be navigated to a page uh, where you'll find the overall blog post all right then moving down you will find this client testimonial area which is one of the important things we should always include in our business websites you can see you can put up up to five client testimonials over here in the testimonial area all right and then this is the widgetized footer wherein you have got four widget areas so you can put up anything over here like about us recent pose you can show up your gallery or your social icons and you see uh, when i'm hovering over the social icons i'm getting its name in a small box ah that's interesting all right then moving down you will find uh, this footer section wherein you can put up your phone number your contact number uh, or some copyright text over here so this is a harrington theme preview so now um, let's see how we can install it and uh, we'll go through the theme option panel so let's get back to our wordpress dashboard and what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly add this theme click on add new i've already got the zip file so i'll choose the zip file there is it here it is i'll click on install now all right unpacking installing and okay the theme installed successfully now let's activate it all right all right okay so let's visit our site for the very first time and ah beautiful girl in front of us <laughs> this is our website for the very first time so let's go and see our theme option panel okay this is the theme option panel click on it all right general setting custom logo as i said the main main thing in your website you have to put up your website you have to brand it so put up a logo and then you have got custom favicon you can also add your contact number for tap to call feature and uh, then you have got this background image so you can uh, choose a suitable background image also that would complement your website and then again mobile navigation menu you can enter your mobile navigation menu text over here and then tracking code you can paste your google analytics tracking code over here and again you have got this front page on or off option all right that is it and then talking about the slider setting this is the slider as i said you can set the speed of the slider from here you can see 8000 uh, which means eight seconds and then you have got this first slider image you can upload the image first slider heading this is the slider heading and uh, you can also provide for the link on first slider means uh, if there is a person who is coming and clicking on the uh, images so you want that person to navigate into a different page so you can provide the link or the url of that page here then you have got this link text for first slider like this is the link text 
it's written read more over here so you can put up any other text that is link text and similar way you can upload up to six slider images all right and also you have got this option to uh, put your slider on or off in the home page wow i've got that option as well <laughs> home page feature area uh, i told you this is the home page feature area and this is the heading you can see home page main heading and uh, also the subheading this is the subheading and then you have got this home page subheading i showed you this is the subheading so you can put up anything over here any text any description and then you can also uh, put your home page top heading section on or off all right it's up to you whether you want to show it or not then home page feature section you can see this is the three column feature area so uh, this is the main heading you can see it's written show your website services so that is the main heading so you can put up a heading over here and first feature image feature heading this is the feature heading and this is the feature image and uh, feature description this is the feature description so you can edit your three column feature area from here again you also have the option to put your home page three column feature area on or off all right then moving up moving up then you have got this home page bottom feature area so you can put up any um, heading text over here this is written latest post so you can put up um, any text over here like latest post or blog post and then you can also decide how many posts to show in your home page right now it's three you can see three so if you want to show four you can show four as well then you have got home page blog post on or off so you can turn it on or off again then you have got this client testimonial section you can see this is our client testimonial section and I told you we can show up to five client testimonials so this is the testimonial over here you can see testimonial section main heading our clients opinion that is the testimonial uh, section main heading and then you can show up to five client testimonial text again you have the option to put your client testimonial on or off then you have got this contact page map over here you can provide the iframe code of your google map and you can paste it over here and show up your business location on your website i'll show you let's go and see our contact us page you can see this is the google map so you can put up your address you can get the iframe code and then you can put it up over here and it will show your business location in the contact us page that's it and then you have got the styling options you have got eight different colors to style your website that is something really amazing i'll show you you can choose colors from here as well you can see how it's changing oh ah, let me show the home page it will look more good <laughs> ah, see it's changing and it looks good so you have got eight different colors to optimize your website in whichever style you want and then you have got these social icons i'll show you down in the footer area i showed you these are the social icons so you can put up your social icons over here and then you have got this footer settings wherein you can put up your footer contact details your footer text i'll show you this is the footer contact and this is the footer text so you can provide your contact over here and in the right side you can write some copyright text or something then you have got the SEO option one of the main important thing you have to uh, go through is the SEO option you can put up some keywords over here that is related to the content of your website and again you can provide some description meta description to provide search engines with additional information about the topics uh, that appear on your website and then you have got this meta other main so you can see this is the theme option panel wherein you can bring all these changes it's up to you how you want to show your website you can change the slider images you can put up the heading over here you can change the logo you can change the menu text the feature heading subheading your blog post images and everything every single content of the website can be optimized according to your wish and you can create your business website to show your existence in the online world so if you don't have one or if you have one still you can go and try Harrington thing because this is something really amazing and appealing and you can see it looks absolutely perfect so try Harrington theme and enjoy creating websites wedding themes thank you